Afternoon, YouTube. A little update on my trailer build here. I've uh, been getting a few things done, thinking about what I'm going to do. And this is a piercing. I pierced the main frame uh, of my trailer. I thought a lot about this, and uh, I know uh, this is where all the strength of the trailer is at, where it's hooked to the the truck and uh, I, I was thinking maybe I shouldn't do it because it it would weaken it but you know I do like holes so I thought about it and thought about it and then here's what I came up with I actually this is a piece of five a uh, quarter by five inch flat bar and I it, it's I know it's weird I, I boxed the outside of the uh, five inch channel, the C section, and I welded it all the way in. And uh, this piece here, this hole is uh, the, the actual tubing, which, which is uh, OD, is two and a half inch uh, 316 wall. So, what I did was I actually uh, cut this out. And welded it to the uh, five inch channel first and then uh, made this hole a little bit bigger missed the wells put it on and so this piece of uh, quarter by five inch flat bar is welded uh, to the channel and the tubing both is stuck out here and uh, I did think about this a lot but I figured it it was uh, because it had to be strength. So what I did is on the inside is a piece of quarter inch by four inch flat bar which fits inside the um, the five inch channel. So in actuality this part right here is probably close to three quarters of an inch thick uh, of mild steel. And this is the piece coming out and then I had a little piece left over and I thought I should probably, you know, overkill, but I boxed it just where it comes through. Uh, I got to the point where enough is enough. And uh, what this is for is is when I go to the shows, I decided I'm uh, I have to put a step. When when the trailer's level, the deck is about 20 inches off the ground, so I got a one 10 inch step. And I'm going to make a step that actually goes in the receiver and, and fits in there. And uh, that way it's it's uh, integral into the trailer instead of uh, like the other one where it sits on there. Now this one, I pierced the frame again. And this is, uh, this is your standard two, two and a half inch square tube, 316 wall. That's what I use for all the things and, and my receivers. But this one goes through, it pierces the main frame and actually goes into this one and is welded. So this piece here really ties the front together. And the, and the reason that I made this so uh, robust is this is where I'm planning on putting an outrigger for my, uh, for my jib cranes. And uh, the outrigger I'm thinking we'll probably come out three feet out here and it'll uh, be in here so that it really supports the, the trailer well and and uh, been thinking I, I, my, my little ideas keep bubbling up and this is uh, another one another uh, I'm just uh, I, I like holes in them and, and I think that I could put the holes in the structure and still maintain the structural integrity and strength. So we put this one and of course it goes all the way through and it goes through there. Now there's this piece down here and I actually have one down here too. And the reason for these was on the other trailer my two and a half inch uh, square tube was welded on the bottom and I, and I put that in there for something for it to weld on and then I uh, changed my plans and decided that I uh, 
want to uh, make it look nicer. I think it cleans it up. There's nothing hanging on the bottom. It's nothing added on. It's all engineered and designed into the whole trailer so that it, uh, it, it looks uh, like, it would, like, you know, hodgepodge. My other one, a lot of stuff, I, I get these ideas and move forward. So I'm, like I said, I'm taking my time on this one. This is behind the other wheel. And I believe I'll probably have another outrigger here too. Because now I've decided that I'll put my, uh, the jib crane on the side will probably go right here. So it'll swing to the front and swing to the back. And the one on the corner of the, of the uh, porch will swing across the front and around here and they, uh, the two jib cranes will communicate with each other. And uh, this is about as far as I got. But what, what I, I'm doing is tying everything together. This, uh, this trailer is gonna be like one big machine. But uh, it's been hot out here. I'll tell you, it's been hot. And I've, I've been having kind of a tough time coming out here. <laughs> I'll tell you, I worked a couple, three hours, and uh, that heat really, really gets to me. So what, what I did when I showed you here is this one comes out here. I just put got these in uh, today. And what I did... On my other trailer, I took this tubing and actually used pieces and went all the way across. Now they were welded on the bottom. These go, these pierce the frame. And like this one here is too. As you can see, it's, it's not welded yet. But uh, what I did was just brought it out this far. And since this uh, tubing is to accept two inch tubing, I just, uh, uh, left them stick out a little bit, weld them in there, and then I'm going to weld a piece of two inch, which I did. This one, you can see this baby's welded up. And then uh, take here and, and weld them across here and tie everything together. I uh, did the same thing up here. And we're moving along slowly. A little update. If, uh, if you like it, hit the like button and uh, I'll leave a comment. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.